I hate this stupid water heater that you bought. We never had any problems with the other one. Is what your wife is saying to you right now, because you got a code 11 on your Renai tankless water heater, so let's fix it. You're probably standing there like a doofus right now, staring at it, wondering what to do first. So I'm going to show you. First thing you're going to do is check to see if you have a spark from the igniter. You just pull the plug, put it up against the faceplate, run the water, and it should arc. If it doesn't arc, follow it back to the black box and follow the gray wires down to this plug. On this plug, you should have 120 volts. Uh, it's kind of hard to measure this and uh, take a video. Just trust me, it had 120 volts. And that's with the water running. So there's the part we need. We're going to go ahead and take this off of here. This little black box is what actually makes a spark. We're going to pull it off from the bracket, and then we're going to take a screwdriver, and we're going to take the one screw out of there. You may need a drill. I needed a drill. Screwdriver wasn't working out really good. Why don't you call somebody who knows what they're doing? Anyway, you can see we got three plugs on here. We got two gray wires that go down to the Molex plug, and then we got this black wire that goes to the igniter. The black wire is a little weird. It just pushes onto like a pin, and uh, that's the connection. Put it back in the bracket. Put it in. Am I going to be able to take a shower tonight? I got to go to the bathroom. Can I flush the toilet? Yes, you can flush the toilet. Now, this part is just plug and play. You got the Molex connection goes on there, and then you're going to plug in the igniter. There's a little sleeve goes over the top of that. Don't forget it. I'm not really sure what the consequences will be if you do, but anyway, now you got hot water. What do you look at that? Still your fault, but at least it's fixed. Anyway, see you on the next one.